Thanks for joining me on this new video where you will learn how to make perfume at home quick and easy. Hi, I'm Will Wolbyoff and thanks for joining me on this video. If you're interested in everything scent related, then please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification for future videos. Right, let's get on with it. So you will need a few things to make perfume. We're gonna be using a beaker, uh, a dropper pipette. I use a glass one, but you can use plastic ones. I'll talk about that later on. You'll need some essential oils, your raw materials, and, um, and some perfumer's alcohol. Uh, or the strongest alcohol you can buy. I would strongly recommend perfumer's alcohol. Uh, it's not very expensive, so go ahead and get that. And of course, a notebook and a little bit of imagination and creativity, uh, which I'm sure you have abundance of. So let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing I will do is get my scale and I'll measure out three grams of alcohol. Now the end goal of today is to get a little five mil um, atomizer and have that with our perfume. Okay, so the reason we're adding alcohol uh, at the beginning uh, to the beaker is we wanna make sure that the essential oils um, dissolve into the alcohol so we can actually smell them. These are very concentrated materials and they smell very strong. So if you were just adding them in, it's quite difficult to um, smell them apart from each other. And if you're saying add in, adding in jasmine or rose, it could overpower all the other essential oils. So we have the alcohol in there, so when you drop it in, it diffuses into the alcohol and we can smell it nice and clearly. Okay, so we have our alcohol in here. Uh, we have our dropper pipette ready, and now we can add the oils. So I will add the oil bergamot to begin with. Um, so I'll get my notepad, I will jot down bergamot uh, in there, bergamot, a little dot, and I will add the drop number um, alongside it. Now I'm going to add 10 drops to get us going, uh, and then we can see what that smells like. Um, so we have bergamot, uh, unscrew the cap. Take my glass dropper. Uh, I've taken off all the dropper um, plastic caps that they have on here. Uh, if you use them, uh, a lot comes out or a little comes out, you end up having to tap them. It's not very accurate, so I use this. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put that back in. Uh, now I use a glass pipette instead of um, plastic pipette and when I just, you know, after I've used an essential oil, I put it into the glass, give it a good couple squishes, that dissolves all the essential oil and it comes out. When I'm ready to put in the next oil, you give it a flick of the wrist um, and a little wipe. Get rid of all the alcohol and then you're ready to go for the next one. Uh, I'll have to clean it again because I just dropped it right back in. Um, always put the cap on when you finish your essential oil. And now we give this a little mix. Make sure the, uh, the bergamot is mixed in with the alcohol and we can dip in a scent strip. Hey presto. Now we've got to leave that for about 45 seconds to a minute just to make sure the alcohol evaporates and then we'll be left with a nice bergamot that we can smell. So this is essentially the, the principle of it. Uh, I add more essential oil in, I take my scent strip, the same scent strip, I dip it in and I see how it's changed. Uh, I can take a new scent strip, uh, we'll talk about that in a second actually, so I'll just crack on for the moment. There is bergamot, lovely. Um, so I can pop that there. Next thing we're gonna be putting in is sandalwood. So if I just jot down sandal, wood and let's try three drops to begin with um, so we have sandalwood there so let's give that a flick and a spin dokey and let's do three drops one two three Squishy, squishy, squishy. Pop that 
back on. Always put them on immediately. You don't want to mix up your caps because that really will create cross-contamination. Uh, using the glass um, dropper instead of a plastic dropper, I'm sure there might be some cross-contamination, but it's going to be so minimal. Uh, if you want to use plastic for pets, by all means, you can do that. Um, it's up to you. Uh, this is my way that I work it. Uh, you know, it works. I'm happy. Um, now let's see how that is. So always good to give it a smell before. That's what we had. Now we just drop it in. And that is what we will have. Another 45 seconds to a minute. Wait for that alcohol to evaporate and we should have a nice sandalwood bergamot. Oof, still got the alcohol. Uh, I usually flick uh, or bend the little scent strip and I can give it a little flick scent. Ooh, lovely. Mm. It's coming. It's coming through, but um, I really want the sandalwood to be quite punchy on this, um, in this mix. So I think I'm going to add a further, I'm going to go crazy, I'm going to add seven drops, so it'll be a total of ten. Um, so let's get our little the pet, I'll get a new sheet of paper. Uh, so, um, what did I say, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give that a good squish, squish, clean, clean. Now I'm gonna make sure, oh, you can see the, um, the oils in there. Give it a little spin and hey presto, nice and mixed. So now we can uh, smell before and dip it in. Boop. So let's have a smell of this. Yes. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Now we're cooking. So we added seven, so it's important to add a little note. I just go into the next column and add a seven, so I always know it's a multiple. Um, not a multiple, it's an addition. Uh, seven on there from the three, so I know there's 10 drops total sandalwood. So the next thing we're gonna be adding is grapefruit. So again, make a little note, uh, grapefruit. And we will add, let's say, four drops. Now this should give it a nice citrus uh, opening, which will be very tasty. Uh, again, let's get the alcohol out. The alcohol goes everywhere, it's flying. But um, it evaporates immediately, it doesn't stain anything. Uh, and what's the worst that could happen, you know? Just burn down the house. Okay, that's good. Um, let's do something that I do quite often, uh, change up the scent strips. So what I'll do is I'll mark this up one. So just put a little one on there. And then I put a line of where I got to in the recipe underneath. And that then I know is the first marker, uh, the first scent strip. So I can leave that there and then I'll use a new scent strip when I go to get the next test. So let's add these four drops in. One, two, three, four. A little squish, squish. Uh, there's the cap. So I'm not used to doing it in this position. Normally I'm, I'm facing all my oils. Now they're all kind of in the, the wrong orientation. It's quite confusing. Um, I don't know if you've noticed my lovely, uh, uh, my perfume organ. Uh, I made it myself out of plywood. It's got these lovely holes at the back uh, where the uh, shot glass of alcohol sits. Uh, there's some toothpicks in here and my scent strips. So anyway, back to the perfume making um, before I deviate too far. So this is now our second scent strip. So I can mark that up as the second one. So let's make sure that's Got nice and mixed, give it a good swish around and dip her in. So the great thing now that I'm using 
the two scent strips is I have before and after, so we can see what's happened to the juice, to the perfume as we've added in the grapefruit. So the bergamot and sandalwood is a lovely, lovely combination. Bergamot and sandalwood, it's like um, ebony and ivory, love and marriage, horse and carriage. They go together very, very well, very, very well. Ah, oh, the grapefruit's good. Yes. Zesty, zesty, zesty. Might not be enough, but we will see. I think I'll continue adding in some other raw materials. And then if I want to put in a little bit more grapefruit, then, um, then we can. Uh, we can do whatever we want when we are making perfume. That's the great joy of it. It's so, uh, it's so freeing, it's so meditative. It's a, it's a wonderful hobby that I hope, um, if you're still watching the video by now, I have a feeling this is gonna be quite a long one. Um, but hopefully it's enjoyable, hopefully you're getting something out of it. Uh, so, next up we will add Lang Lang. Uh, lovely material. Um, it's a floral, quite a powdery floral. Uh, quite sweet. Uh, with a little bit of quite green. Um, it's very strong, Lang Lang. Uh, it sits as a, as a base note. So I think we'll go for one drop because it's, it can be very overpowering if you put too much in. So just one. And I think that's gonna make quite a difference to the mix. Uh, there's the cap. Again, I'm getting confused where I'm putting things. So I'll give it a, give it a little, a little mix. You see, that's why we use the scent strips. That's just alcohol. <laughs> that's all I'm getting from there. Alcohol with a little bit of scent. So what we had before, lovely. Now we've got the Lang Lang, let's dip it in. Again, we just have to wait for that to the alcohol to evaporate, and then we can see where we are. Um, which I'm sure is gonna be quite lovely. Ooh, still a bit of alcohol on that. Impatience, you've gotta be patient with this. Um, but I think that's one of the great things about perfume making. Now you've seen how I do it, it's, it's really quick. Uh, you can formulate and you can experiment with different scents. You know, you could do you can do multiple formulas in one evening. Have a glass of wine, put some music on. You know, oh, gorgeous. Lovely. The sound of which really strong. Right. Good. Going to do my last addition on this formula, which is a little bit of jasmine. Jasmine Absolute is going to be one of the greatest materials ever. I love smelling it. Oh, it's just... If you've never smelled pure jasmine, then, oh, you're in for a treat. It is horribly expensive, but you can buy two milliliters. Um, and I don't think it's... Oh, I think it's about 10 pounds or maybe 12 pounds, which is about $20. So it is by far the most expensive, or one of the most expensive essential oils that you can buy, along with rose. But it's so worth it, and it lasts so long, you use such little of it. Um, so I'm gonna put one drop in. So let's just make sure I don't take up too much, and boop. One drop of Jasmine Absolute. Make sure we get a cap back on. Now this is gonna transform the perfume, it really is. Uh, so much so that I'm going to use a new scent strip. Uh, so again, I'll put a line under the Lang Lang so I know there's a new scent strip. I will add on three to this. So then I can, you know, I can backtrack and I can see where the perfume was with bergamot and sandalwood. I can see where it was with bergamot, sandalwood, sandalwood grapefruit and Lang Lang. And now I'll be able to see where it is with the jasmine added. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
again, just wait a little bit. Patience is a virtue. And we will see where this is at. Again, just, you know, just flicking it around, just uh, gets the alcohol away and gets the scent moving. <laughs> that drop of jasmine is just transform this into oh wow jasmine and sandalwood that's so good and the zestiness and the citrusness of the bergamot and grapefruit wow that's so so good so let's just add in our jasmine one drop uh, I think I'm gonna add a couple more drops of grapefruit just to see if it can get it to come a little bit more to the forefront grapefruit is a, is a top note I'm sure you know so it will be one of the ones that fades away quickly uh, quickest from the perfume um, I should add another disclaimer uh, <laughs> Because we're not using aroma chemicals uh, in this perfume mix, I have a, about a hundred of them in that box there, uh, but because I'm not using them in this, uh, projection will be limited on the perfume and it won't really last that long. Um, you really need to be using, let's have another two drops, one, two. Uh, aroma chemicals to be getting those kind of more professional um, smelling perfumes. So, there's that, mixed in, as before, dip it in, wait for that to dry down a little. Ha ha, yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna bottle this up and keep it. So there we have a nice and simple, I'm gonna add in my, my two drops to my formula. There we are. So now I know exactly what my formula is in terms of how many drops. So now you can see my workflow and how I create my perfumes. It's quick, it's easy, it's intuitive. You can just crack on. And don't be intimidated by how many oils I've got here on my board. Um, with just six oils, you can start doing this. It's so, it's just so much fun, it's so pleasurable. I strongly advise you just go out and just do it, just try, experiment and see where it takes you. Uh, because I think you will really, really enjoy it. So what we do now is we get our little five mil atomizer and we want to fill that up with the juice. So again, we'll just take a drop of the pet. Don't bother trying to pour it in because uh, it will just make a mess. So yeah, alcohol out of there. Let's get that away. So we just, pretty straightforward, pull it up and uh, pop it in. Um, now there is one addition that we'll be doing at the end, which is just down to the quantity. So if you remember, we added three grams of alcohol into the beaker at the beginning. Now, because of the joys of the metric system, three grams is three milliliters. Um, I'm sure there's some people that will want to question me on that because it is just water that is the same weight uh, in milliliters and grams, but alcohol is pretty bloody close. So we'll have three mils of alcohol in there. Now, as a rough rule of thumb, 26 drops is a milliliter. And now we have added in 10, 20, 26, 27, 28, 28. So we've added just over a milliliter of essential oils. Now you want about a 20-80 mix, 20% essential oils, 80% alcohol. So at the moment we have three milliliters alcohol, one milliliter 
of essential oils, which is 25% over 75%. So you can see in here, we're almost at the top. Uh, I don't know if you will be able to see, that's quite far away. Um, so we'll just add a little bit of perfumer's alcohol to top it up. Um, so we get closer to that 80-20 mix. Uh, again, this is where I said uh, I'm pretty fast and fluid uh, about the measuring and everything else. So I'll just put the alcohol straight into there. Boop. Just like that. Good. Now we have a little five mil bottle of perfume that we've just made, which is a sandalwood, bergamot and jasmine mix with some grapefruit and lang lang to help fill it out. Give it a good shake. Now you wanna leave that for about two weeks to macerate. Maceration is a process where molecules get to know each other and they blend and they, they form and soften off a little bit. The best way to explain that is if you've ever had a curry and you've left it in the fridge overnight, the second day it tastes better. That's because it has macerated. The garlic has got to know the cumin and the cumin to the coriander seed. And that's why it's, it just tastes rounder and fuller. So that's what will happen in two weeks with this. But of course, we're impatient. We wanna just smell it straight away. So we'll just give it a couple of uh, spritz on the back of the hand. Ha 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 ha. It's woody. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's, I, I said at the beginning that um, we're gonna be making like a punk uh, song and, uh, and our, this kind of perfume is punk compared to the big houses are more like a uh, philharmonic uh, orchestra. But some of the best music's punk music. I love punk music. That's good. I, I, don't, I don't think you could uh, get anyone to smell that and they would have anything negative to say. Okay, so I will make a PDF uh, that will include this blend and three other blends. So feel free to go to the link in the description and hit that and you'll be able to download it and work on these, experiment on these in your own time. It's gorgeous and it's fun. It's really, really fun to do. So that is my process of how to make perfume at home. Uh, I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it entertaining. Uh, apologies, it's quite a long video. Uh, but do give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more of this type of content. And uh, I will see you in the next video. All right, we'll see you soon.